Luke's is working to learn more about pregnant women with heart disease. It's conducting a first of its kind study. The goal here is to make sure a woman could deliver her baby safely and naturally. Abigail James live this morning. She looked into the study and has more on why it's such a big deal. Abby, what'd you learn? Yeah, well, labor, of course, means that the heart is working harder. And so for women who may have certain types of heart disease, this could prevent either complications or heart failure. And so the study that's being done here at St. Luke's is looking to prevent that. In January 2017, at just 22 years old, Cheyenne Miz collapsed at work while pregnant. She was clinically dead before being revived. I had chest pains, but other than that, that was the only thing I know of that was any kind of signal that something was wrong. She was rushed to St. Luke's Hospital, where due to a lack of oxygen, she lost her baby. And she required advanced life support for eight days on ECMO uh, until she finally was able to recover. Ms. was born with a heart problem called Epstein anomaly, which is a form of congenital heart disease. Today, she is pregnant again and is part of a new study at St. Luke's Hospital. It's called the NICOM study. It stands for non-invasive cardiac output monitoring. The machine allows doctors to measure your cardiac output in a non-invasive way. Um, the machine works by connecting the blood pressure cuff and then we have a couple of stickers that attach to the chest, um, similar to an EKG sticker. Cardiac output increases by about 50% with pregnancy in women that have a normal heart. In people that don't have a normal heart, we're not sure. So that's where it comes in. Traditionally, physicians have sent women with heart disease for C-sections to avoid complications related to labor. This will allow them to know if a woman can go through labor naturally. For Ms., all of the monitoring helps dealing with heart disease and the pregnancy at the same time a little easier. So just knowing that I'm halfway through a successful pregnancy is kind of nice. So I just focus on that. Now, St. Luke's began this study about four months ago, and they currently have 20 women that are uh, pregnant women that are involved in this study. Half of them have heart disease and the other half do not. They plan to monitor them with the Nikon machine uh, during and uh, before, during and after labor. For now, reporting live, Abigail James, KCTV 5 News. All right, Abby, thank you. Wishing her a very safe and happy.